Hello friends, I'm Colonel Failure. Welcome back to the adventures of uh, Joey Spartacus and the uh, off-license of Beelzebub. Funny story. Literally 30 seconds after I hit recording, I thought I'll just run it through the next day's shift and that way we can come in with a little bit of money and it will be exciting. The observant amongst you will notice I'm I'm a thousand quid down. Over, over a thousand quid down. You wanna know why? Because I passed out and was taken to hospital. Um, evidently, I'd burned the candle at all the ends and the only solution was hospital. And because we are in a nation that hates its people, um, uh, that's cost me money. Yeah, I think the first option you should get is what country do you want to be working in? How do you... Where's the doors? Those are quite obviously windows. Yeah. Where, where's out, please? That's an industrial... Fr These are windows. Yeah. Uh, I'm also trapped in the hospital. That's a... There's just bathrooms. Oh, God. How do you leave the hospital? So I found the exit. Right, okay. Um, where am I? We're here. Where's my stuff? It's... Um, there's 3rd Avenue. No, we're up over here. Ah, oh, crikey, it's miles away. And I don't think I can even use the subway because uh, I haven't got any money. I am, frankly, completely destitute. Oh, dear. Yeah, there's a, there's a thing. Right, well, it's only half a kilometer away. I can't even afford any food. What the heck am I going to do? Uh, we're out of wine. Oh, no. I think, I think, it, I think I might be dead. I think this might be it. I might, it might be over. I, oh, I might have some collateral. I could go to the bank and see if they'll, they'll, they'll splash me some more reddies. I don't think they will, you know. You already owe them money. Yeah, but I've been ever so good at paying it back. Where are we? Thursday. Okay, the bank will be open. Um... No, this is all bad. I might be... This might be... What? You're going into a sad period of no eating. Okay. You, uh, you don't think I'm going into a destitute period of no eating? I mean, I could... I could eat some cigars, but that's my... That's, that's my inventory. Flipping how much did they charge me just for picking me up and going like... He just needed a good night's sleep. Because that was a... That's a scandal. I might have to take to... I mean, I was going to say I could go work for Mr. Hernandez again. I'm sure he'll be thrilled to see me. But I, I don't think I can afford to because I can't eat. Yeah, I'm going to starve. Oh, dude, this is a lesson about capitalism, isn't it? And how it's awful. Yeah, yeah, no safety net for you. Where, where can I sign on? And is there a hostel of some description? I should have bought. I should have bought a car. Should have bought a car. Lived in my car, and uh, and because that's a one-time only payment. I've got on my persona. I've got a got a thing in there. No, it's just telling me what, is, what does that mean? It's on a sad period. No eat. I can't eat for sixteen hours. I can't eat even when I'm that flipping. I haven't got any money. I'm in deep doo doos. My net worth is six thousand uh, seven hundred though. Actually, that's not bad. That's more than it was. Originally, it was only 4,200. Oh, I'm going places. You're going straight back to hospital, bruv. All right, we might have to try shoplifting. Anyway, let's go and have a word at Jensen Capital. Put on your most impressive businessman face. I only need to borrow, like, two grand. Two grand to do it. I'd like two grand, please. We can definitely help you with that. We've put the money in your account. God bless you, sweet master. All right. Okay, that's more like it. Uh, we live, friends. We're alive. We're, we're in business still. We're not dead at all. We're just in hock to the bank. And that's okay. Right. I'm going to need some cleaning equipment because the, the place is getting completely filthy. It was a delight to see, frankly. Um, because, uh, I mean, I just fell on the floor. What now? What? Insufficient. I'm too exhausted to move at full speed. Uh-oh. I'm about to keel over again. Okay. 
I think my shifts are too long. I think your shifts are too long. Right, then we should re we should revise our open and close schedule. Let us open at noon. Yes. All right, okay, has it replicated that? Yes, it has. Make one change and everything's golden. That means I don't need a... We're, I can't serve you, bruv, because um, I'm not paying that much for cigars. Uh-oh. Yeah, okay, what are you saying? You're going to say... Nothing, you're just walking, you're just walking out. I can't work the cash register, I'm about to die again. Quickly, Joey, make it to the bench. To the bench, Joey, don't die before you get there. Don't die. Don't die. Just don't die. Just don't. I should I should have hospital armor or some such whereby I'm not going to die. Yeah. It's 9.55. Have I got time to I have. Right. Quick. Buy some of that. You have to have a basket or you can't buy anything. Get some food in you. Right. Place the order. Hello. Don't die. Don't die. Do not die. Eat the food. I'm too sad to eat. Oh, no. Alright. Okay. Well, let's just hope nobody steals my food overnight. Yeah. Alright. Let's... I can't sleep while there's something in my hand. And I can't eat. How, how long? How long until I can eat? Speak to me. Uh, five hours remaining. Throw the food away. Get some sleep. Yeah. Yeah, I've got, I've got nowhere to keep it. Right. Sleep for four hours. And hope we don't starve. Okay. All right. Feeling a little bit more perky now. That's a, that's a start. Uh, more sleep. Yeah, the shop's closed. My sandwich should still be sat on the floor here. I'm no longer in a sad period. I bet I am. I bet I'm very sad. I bet the level of saditude that I'm feeling is significant. Uh, I haven't got full energy. Let's change the opening hours. I just can't afford to die again. Yeah. And I can't afford to hire any staff yet. We'll stay open today until 6. I think I could probably do that without keeling over. Right, I've got to be at work in a bit. Oh, look, look at us springing me step again. Get a flipping sandwich, son. Right. We had to throw yesterday's sandwich away. It was, it was a disgrace. Uh, it's hungry people in the world. Not least of all me. But apparently I was too I was too starving and sad to put anything in my mouth. Not even a disappointing ham sandwich, which is a disgrace. And it's, that's a hate crime. Uh, get out of it. Um, okay, today we're going to make the money. We're going to make some profit. Things are going to start going the right way again. Uh, because what I want to do in the morning is uh is i want to well i want to buy a mop to clean the place never mind that we need some more wine yeah right from the cash and carry and uh and i need a bed and i need a mop to clean the place and i'm knackered again okay all right yeah but i'm not dead knackered no you're you're pretty tired though yeah but i'm gonna get lots of hours sloops truck taxi um yeah Let's go, uh, let's go see Mr. Hernandez. Oi, oi, Hernando. I'm buying myself a Sanger. Thank you. Right, there you go. Slap that in. Give it some of this. Boop, 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 boop. Thank you. All right, stuff it in the face. Throw the bag in his face. Get out of the door. Go to the bedroom. All right. I can invite some ladies to my boudoir. I rather suspect that some ladies turn up in your boudoir on a regular basis overnight, my friend. Um, uh, but perhaps not the kind you're looking for. Yeah, perhaps. Right, I am fully juiced and ready to face the day. Okay, fully juiced. We're out of vino. We need the big cash and carry. Right, okay. That's down the other end of the road, isn't it? That's here. Is that the wholesaler? No, that's the appliance store. You want the wholesaler. Wholesaler. Boop. It's over there, look. Right. Okay, it's a bit of a stroll. Yeah, I know, but we'll be we'll be okay. I've got nothing on until lunchtime, and then I've got to do a full day's work. So hustle, hustle, hustle. Um, right, you didn't put it into your sat nav. I know broadly where it is, we'll find our way.
I have arrived. I am at the cost the Costco and we need wine. Now I would like to get two pallets of wine because that was selling quite nicely. Um, even though that will eat into what precious little capital I have. Uh, I want to do it anyway. Now, cigars are... Uh, hold on, how much is wine? It's only 127 quid. Alright, hang on, discard that. Alright, go and get a pallet, truck. Uh, we should re-up both while we're here. Look at this feeble dude just trotting around the place. I mean, look at He's hardly full of vim. No, he's, he's vimless. Alright, grab one of them. Let's go. Let's let's make this happen. Right, okay, a couple of... Uh, three? Well, how many pallets can we take back with us? Four, I think. Maybe five uh, push, but I imagine you'll be, uh, you'll be dog-tired by the time you've done that. 25 wines, yep. 50 wines, yeah. That's some wines. And another box of cigars. I don't think you can afford it. 1,200. Less wine? No. Dump the cigars, get the wine. Okay. Alright. Yeah. Three boxes of wine. That'll keep us going for a bit. And I don't mean wine boxes. No, I mean boxes of wine. You know, wine. In bottles. In boxes. Boxed wine bottles. Boxes. Whatever. That's what I said, and that's what I'm doing. Thanks very much. Cheers, then. Yeah, catch you next week. Lovely job. Thanks. Thanks, thanks, thanks. Bye-bye. 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 Hold on. I think you can cut through here. That's the drive-in. Is it? Well, what's down here, then? I better lead back to the street. I've got an ominous feeling. Why would you do this? Okay, it doesn't lead back to the street. Okay, fine. No, it's all right. I've got the energy to spare, you wretches. Uh, and we're not open 8 till late anymore. No. We're open in an hour when I can get there. Well, good luck with that. Yeah, I'll be a mite peckish, but I'm sure we'll be fine. I'm only doing 6 hours on shift today. We'll be fine. It'll be fine. Everything will be fine. Right, I am peckish, so I'm going to park up, right? I want, a, I want a hot dog. Yeah. Give me a hot dog, please. No, no, it's good. My pallet truck's in the way. All right, okay, put it here. All right, I'll use a parking space. Park, right. I want a hot dog for lunch. Ding dong, hello. Yes, I'd like a hot dog, please. Uh, three quid, bargain. Oh, what do you mean I'm in a queue? I ain't got time to be in a queue. I'm supposed to be opening my shop. Come on. Oh, dearie me. Oh, this was a terrible idea. Oh, the, the flipping Happy Meal never took me this, like, the meal deal, not Happy Meal. Thanks. Hang on, let me eat my hot dog. All right, throw the bag at the staff, get out of here. Cool, they're doing a good turnover, aren't they? Well, I think they're in a prime location. Just as well no one's had it off with me wine. Is that the thing that people say? I think they use those words, not necessarily in that order, but uh, it's all... It's all good. It's all part of uh, the richness of the uh, English language. Okay, we're almost there. Trust me, customers, it's going to be worth it. Would you about ya? Because um, uh, I got the vino. I might just take it back to me flat and drink all of it. But no, I'm a, I'm in business. I'm a business mogul. Moguling is what I do in my spare time. <laughs> When I'm not working for Mr. Hernandez because I've gone bankrupt again. No ID requires. Hello there! Hello, hello, hello everyone. Right, there you are. Right, quick, get on the till. Ding dong! Right, buy things! I made a sale. Okay, alright, today's not a washout at all. What are you going to do with the profits today? Well, there are, there are several choices vis-a-vis -vis the profits today. I could... Uh, I could reinvest in some more stock. We are going to need some more cigars. That's 800 quid for a punnet. Um, yeah, well, there it is. And they have been an absolutely fantastic seller. We should get ourselves a mop to, uh, to make the floors less completely horrible. Yes. Um, I want a bed so I can stop sleeping on a bench. Why not sleep on the bench tonight? Yeah. Have yourself a meal deal from Tesco, and uh, and then run up to the uh, up to the car dealership in the morning and see what's what. All right, what have we got left? Fifty-five in that, sixty-two in there. 
Okay. Um, okay. Yeah. I got, I've still got three times bottle of wine on there. Just uh, place that over here then, please. Uh, tell you what, why don't we put it in the stock room? There you go. You know, where the stock lives. Right, let's, let's do the same with this. Pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. Pick, pick it up. Pick up the... Pick up the gun. No, it's not a gun. Alright, adjust the camera. Pick this up. Thank you. Now, take it... Well, I'll place it, yeah, in here. Alright, rotation for the nation. Super nation. Right, good. Okay, so, uh, go see Mr. Hernandez. Yeah. Go see your favourite bench in the whole city. Yes. Walk up the car dealership. See if we can get a car. Right, that would be an upgrade on everything. Mr. Hernandez. Come on, pay attention. I'm slightly happier now. Couldn't tell you why. Ding dong. All right, yeah. Choose something from my favourite fridge. Oh, what are you going for today? Oh, chicken salad. Chicken salad. Yeah, I'm getting some. going to have some lettuce. I mean, you call it lettuce. It's discarded, wilty leaves and uh, quote-unquote chicken. Great. Okay, right. Sleepy time. Yeah. Because then I could buy more food and leave it in the glove box of the car. That would keep it fresh. Yeah, it would. I mean, I could leave the air con turned on. That would probably do the trick. Right, now, it is quarter four in the morning. Yeah. So, let's go running. Yeah. Um, because I'm not hungry. I've, I've slept enough. Uh, right, we need a car dealership. All right. Show me. Uh, it's over here. Right. Let's go to this one first. Set destination. It's open in... It says 20 hours. What day is it? It's Sunday. Oh, flipping heck. Well, how is it open in 20 hours? I can't even see if it is. No, 29 hours. It's not open till Monday. Oh. Right, what about you? Same. Does not... Everyone sells cars on a Sunday. What the heck is wrong with you? I've got enough to buy some more cigars. All right, are you open today? You're open in five hours. Fine. I'm going to go buy some cigars. Yeah, no, if, you, if you're not interested in flogging me a car on a Sunday, it's a pretty poor state of affairs. I'd buy a, cigar, a car on a Sunday. I said it's the best time to do it because I'm not at work. You go out there, you kind of go, hello. Oh, yeah, I'd like to have a look at this this 30-year-old uh, Vauxhall Astra. And you go, oh, it's a, it's a very sound choice. We've got this on part exchange. You go, oh, I'd rather think you probably did. You kind of go, how much are you asking for it? Uh, £250. I go, very good. That will do nicely. Does it run? <laughs> About as well as it ever did. Oh, super. That'll do nicely. Um, great. Yeah. That, that kind of conversation, it happens every Sunday. You go to a used car lot on a Sunday and they'll go like, yeah, 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 here's a Vauxhall Astra. And you go, oh, yeah, brilliant. That's exactly what we want. Yeah. It won't be a Corsa. No, despite the fact that a Corsa is one of the most popular cars in the country, it's never going to be a Corsa because they're all dead. Uh, by the time it's onto the, onto the third owner, that Corsa has absolutely been rinsed because that is the car for the 17-year-olds. I'm not entirely sure you can get a license at 17 anymore. Pretty sure you can. Pretty sure you can. Um, yeah. No. So they thrash it around like there's no tomorrow. They don't look after it, uh, except for putting some, you know, a spoiler on it and a couple of stickers, and uh, and that's that then. All right. Okay. Well, there's there's Costco. Yep. It's five in the morning. They'll be open. I bet. No. What? Can I steal a car? No. It's not Grand Theft Auto. It's Grand Theft Capitalism. They're open in three hours. Alright, well I'll just stand here, shall I? Would it kill you to have a bench just outside your shop? You know, for the customer of the nighttime hours, who might be, you know, a little bit worn out, having been jogging up and down the city in 28-day-old clothing. Yeah, what's Hortensia when it's at home? Strip club. Oh, okay. Going to buy some cigars. We're going to make all the money. Well, you, you're already making money off cigars, so actually you're not going to make any money. But what you are going to do is preserve your ability to make money for a little bit longer. Where are we going? 
Oh, I'm just going for a bit more of a run. And then I'll turn around like this. I'll sit on the bench. I'll talk to uh, I'll talk to Steve here. All right, Steve. How's it going? I've not seen you at my bench in a little while. Oh, no, I choose this bench now. Oh, why is that then? Oh, I like going to Costco. All right, I'll have 40 minutes kip. Great. See you later, Steve. All right. And, uh, and then we're going uh, out there. See, you get to know the nighttime people uh, whose society have largely forgotten and discarded like so much rubbish. And yet, they're still people. Uh, but they own the night like vampires, except with, uh, with slightly less expensive capes. Here we are again. Right. Now, I can only afford one thing. Do I need a pallet truck? Your waste. Okay, it's not a pallet truck. No, it's a sack barrow. Yeah. Yeah, pallet truck is for putting pallets on. I used to like working a pallet truck when I worked in a warehouse. It's true, but I mean, that's hardly the point. Uh, right, 886 quid. It's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. But I think I can probably recoup that and more over the next two or three days. And then I should go and get a drinks fridge so that I can uh, I can at least make some money back on my uh, on my soda pops. Uh, and then uh, we'll be bringing in a little bit more. I think the next thing to save up for, though, is going to be a car. I would be shopping for a car right now if they were open on a Sunday. But I rather think that we have we've we've covered that as a line of inquiry, and therefore you know we're just. We're just strolling on with our pallet truck. It's not, it's not a pallet truck. Why am I by Ikea? How far wrong have I gone here? Oh, you know, a bit. Okay, I shouldn't be by Ikea. Flipping Ikea. They, I know, they call themselves Ica Bohag, but we know the real story. Yeah, there's no Bohag. Either. General US trucks. I could buy a truck. Don't think it's going to help me. I think a nice little pre-used uh, Honda Civic would do us nicely. Um, yeah? Yeah. I mean, obviously, I mean, we want an estate, but we're not going to get one. We're going to get a, a, a tired hot hatch. Maybe a Fiesta. Yeah. Truck? Yeah, all right. Uh, and, then, uh, and then things will start going our way. Yes, they will. Right, I ought to get a sandwich before starting work, but we're not open for a couple of hours anyway, so all is well on that front. Uh, what about buying a bed instead of a car? It depends if a bed is more expensive than a car, and I seem to recall that a bed was not an inexpensive purchase. Right, park her up. Oh, you should go and get cleaning supplies. I should. Right, you've parked that in a terrible location. Put it over here, park it again. Put Right, grab your, grab your whatnot. I've grabbed it. Put it down somewhere. I'm placing it in the storeroom. That's probably why I'm going to need some store shelves at some point. Yeah, okay. Right, hit the re-up button. No. Okay, I did buy cigars, didn't I? Uh, yeah. Right, take them over here. Right, click on the shelf. There you go. Ah, we have re we've restocked the cigars. I've now got 280 out of 900 cigars. Magnifique. Right, let's go and see Mr. Hernandez and get a bite to eat. Right then. Uh, oh, we've got customers in the building already. And uh, I'd better, better get on the till. Get on the till, son. Let's have a big day, people. Let's have a big day. I want a big day. We're going to go and buy a mop uh, after the shift is done. Well, we won't buy it today, will you? Oh, yeah, Sunday. No one's open. Right. It's okay, it's all good, it's all good, it's all good. We're going to come out of today a couple hundred quid better off. It's still saying that we're low on cigars. I think it's basing that on a percentage of the maximum number of things that you can stock in the, uh, in the whatnot. Undoubtedly, that is the case. However, you know, it should observe that we can sport a significant number more customers before they, they start getting irate. I reckon they're pretty irate already. I mean, they're coming into an offy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, no one goes there for laughs. They'll go there out of desperation. Yeah, we don't even sell Pepper Army. No, you've got to go to the petrol station for that. Yeah. Right, okay, almost done. Super. I've got a feeling today was a big day. I've got a feeling. 
look at the filth on the floor here. Yeah, I know, it's disgusting. But uh, it's, uh, it's no more than people expect. Right, I'm dead tired. Which can only mean that once again, I need to go sleep. Now, think strategically. What do we need most? A mop. I think they're a hundred quid. I think. And we would get them from the hardware store. Hardware store. The hardware. We don't need that. It's in the appliance store. Ah, right. Okay. We're not going to get out to the car dealership anytime soon. Unless we run there now. Oh, and find somewhere to sleep near the car dealership. Then we can hit this hardware store on the way back. See? Now you're thinking with gas. Right, it's a straight shot up here. More running. Yeah. Right, keep your eye open for a bench because we're going to need somewhere to sleep at the end of the uh, at the end of the evening. Yeah. What are you going to do for food? Um. Oh, what's in the discount market? Oi, oi! Fresh food. <gasps> you need a shopping basket. All right, hang on. All right, shopping. They charge the same price as Tesco, except this is in independent. I like it. Right, I'll eat that. Thank you. Chuck that away. Shame we haven't got a bench just outside, otherwise I would be a regular. Hey ho. All right. Good. Ah, discount market worth no. There's 365 tobacco. Yeah, stuff those guys. They're a competition. They don't know anything about tobacco. They know nothing about the offy business. Uh, right, this is City Cars. Hit. It says so on the big sign. Presumably, when are you open? In 12 hours' time. Right, they open at 8 in the morning. That works for me. I just need a bench so I can get some kip. Uh, and then we'll, we'll see what's what, shall we? Well, here we are. Day 29. I made a couple hundred quid yesterday, which is pretty much what I was expecting. I'm not hungry. I am fully fit. I am not so miserable I want to just go on a stabbing routine. Rampage. What's extravaganzas? They sell clothing by the looks of it. Okay. Alright. There's a coffee shop. It's called Central Perk. Yeah. Would that not be copyright by uh, NBC? Might be. That's not your problem, is it? No, it probably isn't. But I'm not entirely sure you can get away with that. Well, that's okay. It's only if someone rats them out. Well, I'm not going to rat them out. I, uh, you know, I'm fully supportive. Uh, right. Come on in, car dealership. Deal me a car. Hello there. This does not bode well. These all look very expensive. This is the uh, the Missam villain. Okay, what can you tell me about this? It's twenty two grand. Yeah, have you got anything second hand? Uh, the the Vord one fifty and one hundred and fifty quid. And um, are you got anything in my price range? Where's your sales manager? You can't expect to sell cars if you've not got a salesman who's harassing the hell out of me just because I'm expressing something. How much is a van? It's not going to be cheap, obviously. Six grand. It is going to be cheap. That's the uh, UMC Desert. In purple. Or in white. Or in black. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. There's lots of options going on there. Did we check out that? The, this is only two and a half grand for a Honza Mimic. Okay. All right. I regardless though, I think that's a, that's a bank loan job to uh, to get one of those. And obviously, I'm I, I think the bank loan people are rather had enough of me for the moment. Uh, right, let's go to the uh, go to the appliance store and buy a mop. That's what we're about today. Increasing customer satisfaction through the application of a mop. Yeah, isn't the furniture place nearby? You know what the furniture place is called. Oh, God, it's called Ikea, isn't it? Yes, it is. Ding dong! Hello! I want a hand truck, please. Right, mops. Mops. Mopty, mopty, mop, mop. Um, nope. Nope. What's, what are you? That's a product panel. You're a product panel. Okay, thank you for that. You know what they don't sell? Why don't you sell mops? The other place does. But it's right way down the other end of the flipping town. Oh, you. Oh, why? Why have you Why have you forsaken me so? I hate you. Oh, I hate you so much. Uh, right. Dump this. Oh, flipping it. How long have we got till opening time? An hour and a half. 
How hungry are you? I'm not. Um, Alright, furniture store. Is there anything other than Ikea? No. <sighs> that's, that's the place we need to go. Fine, look, it needs cleaning. We're going. Ding dong! Hello everybody, I'm here. I, I want a cleaning station, which is a hundred quid. Perfect. Alright, let's get this bought. And then I want a big day on the shop floor, please. A big day. A big day. We need a we need a five hundred quid day. Uh, that would that would be great. But we're we're going the right direction now. I think the errors are all behind us. All the errors are now done. Yeah, no more mistakes will be made. Park it up. Right, get the box. Yep. Grab the cleaning station. Yep. Place the cleaning station. Yep. And go to the cleaning station and grab um, sweeper to sweep, sweep. Go, sweep, sweep. Sweep, man, sweep. Sweep. It doesn't appear to be sweeping. No. Do some sweeping. Don't just carry it around. Do the thing. There you go. Oh, what is my... so you have to click once you're stood in the place. Oh, okay. That's it. And over here. That's it. A bit more. Yeah. Uh, over here, baby. 98% clean. That will suffice for today. Chuck it away. Get on the till. Ding dong. The, the business is not planned to open today. Oh. Yeah. Good. 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 Well, I'll tell you what. Bizman. This one. And uh, where are you? The Bizman. This one. And the schedule. Yeah. And. What do you know? We're open. Okay. Right. Yeah. Now, let's crank the opening hours a little bit. I think 12 is a good time to start. But let's stay open until 8. Instead of 6. Get on the tilt. Go. All right, come on, customers. I've spruced. I've spruced the place up. Now come in and give me all your readies for legal add addictive substances, uh, all of which will make you feel more vibrant about your life, or at least it will allow you to forget the misery in which you exist on your humdrum day. Why not take advantage of our special in jacket hideable bottle of wine? Uh, it comes with an extra long straw, so while you're in your team meeting this afternoon, you can just slurp away there, and uh, and it will flow past a little bit quicker. Yeah, come on, what's going on? Oh, there you go. That's it. Now we get the work. The workers are all coming out now. They're all, they're all preloading ahead of a night at uh, at some overpriced cocktail bar, and that's okay. The cocktail bar can be as overpriced as it feels the need to be. I'm, I'm a bit I'm a bit Hank Marvin. Would you mind? Come on, hurry up. I need some food. I need some food. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Well, you're the one who sets the opening hours. I realise that. However, that's not the point. I'm now very hungry. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. And we're closed. Go away. All right. We're no more Mr. Hernandez. Oh, I'm supporting a, an independent local business who had better still be open at 10 past 8. That's Joko Tech. Yeah. There's my house. Yes. Here's the Quickie Mart. All right. I'm flipping it a shopping basket. I don't. I can carry it in my hands. Give me. Ah. Yeah. In here. Yeah. And uh, uh, let's go. Place the order, please, before I pass mm. out. Sweet. Eat. Yeah. Chuck. Yeah. Bench. Right. That'll wrap it up for today, friends. Progress has been accomplished. I will get us to midnight so you can see how much progress has been accomplished. And then I promise you I won't end up in hospital. I don't see any reason why I would unless one of the night people, with whom I am familiar and, and have a working relationship, uh, decide to get all rowdy. Which, you can't rule it out. It is a Monday. And uh, no one wants to work on a Tuesday. Uh, there's Francois, who's currently sat there. Yeah, he's one of the night people, like myself. Good. I've been Colonel Failure. I'll catch up with you soon. 300 quid. That's not bad. I've got, I've got a round grand in the bank. And I shouldn't have to re-up that, that soon. I might be a little bit low on wine. Okay. Well, we'll find out, won't we? 
let's, uh, let's drop that down to two hours, and uh, we'll be good to face the day. Right, quick meal deal, get back to work. Thanks very much for watching, I'll catch up with you next time. Cheerio.